Hello girls and squirrels, happy Monday and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the most glorious, the creme de la creme, the 70s mother load of thrift hauls. I'm so excited to show you guys these items. I, I cannot wait. There are so many amazing items in this haul and let's just, let's get right to it, shall we? So little backstory before we get started. My local thrift store has been flooded with donations. I don't know about you guys, but Right around January and February, the thrift stores are just overloaded with donations. People are cleaning out stuff from like Christmas or, you know, just going through their house to refresh and restart for the new year. So my, one of my local thrift stores was putting out bag after bag after bag of free stuff. They were like, please just take this grab a bag. They're all in these big black trash bags. You're not allowed to open them. You simply just pick a couple and you get what you get. So I took two bags. So the first one I opened when I got home, it just had a couple blankets in it. And then it had some mattress covers, which were in not good condition, if you know what I mean. So that those items just, they went in the trash as they should have in the beginning because... It was not good. I did keep one blanket and I did wash it. So it's going to good use. It is sanitized. It was on top. It wasn't touching the other items. Um, so we did get one item for myself out of that bag. So I was kind of bummed out a little bit. I was like, oh, you know, it's a, it's a bummer, but whatever, it was free. It's fine. Um, so I opened the other bag and it is filled filled like the whole bag is all authentic 60s and 70s fashion items and I was like oh my I was so excited it, you know because it was a mystery I had no idea what was going to be in there and it's literally like someone cleaned out their grandma's closet and just put it all in this bag I don't even think the thrift store went through it like I said they had so many donations I feel like they were just taking the donations as they were coming in and just putting them up for free because they just had way too much. So I got lucky and scored all of this 70s vintage and I'm so excited. All right, so now that I've rambled, let's get started. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with pants. The first of which being these bright red bell bottoms. Are you kidding me? They're gorgeous. They match my lipstick. I took a picture in these. I am gonna sell them, they're too big on me. Um, but yeah, just, oh my gosh, get a load of that. Just the polyester. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Obviously I had to take a picture in it because I have a bright red cowgirl hat that matches these. So go peep my Instagram for that photo. Next pair of pants is this kind of just regular style pant they are wide leg i wouldn't necessarily well i guess they are kind of belly but they are this really pretty denim blue with the stretchy waist there is yeah there's the tag i'm gonna be showing you guys the tags on these because they're just so cool i love 70s tags next up is another bright pair we have this bright lime green pair also bell bottom Oh my gosh, I think these fit me, but they're a little, they're a little loud for me specifically, but these ones do have pockets. There's also a shadow. Maybe I need to move this. Is that better? Yes, no shadow. Okay, so these have two little front pockets and oh my gosh, I just love these so much. Let's see if we can get a tag moment. Yes, yes. Next up, we have this bright blue pair. These confused me a little bit because I was like, oh, they have like the little Lacoste crocodile on them, but the tag is not Lacoste. So I'm not really sure why that's on there. Maybe this was just a part of the, this brand's logo before Lacoste came about. Could be wrong. I feel like Lacoste has been around for a long time though. These are also bell bottoms and they have the front two little pockets. And these actually have like the button zip 
um, closure instead of just being a pull on style. All right, so this is the last pair of pants and then we'll move on to skirts and dresses. Let me just zip these up. So these are actually a pair of men's trouser bell bottoms. There were a couple of men's pieces in here. I feel like they were hemmed for a woman though because they're a little bit short. Let's find that glorious tag. Here it is. And this one also comes with the belt. These honestly feel like they were worn maybe once. They are in like brand new condition. These are just amazing. I wish they fit me, but sadly they don't. All right, so let's move on to skirts. I got a couple of these just plain little like midi skirts. This one is like a wool. Um, here is the tag love love it's got the back zipper and button closure it's kind of just like a peachy color and i think there's actually a top yeah there is there's a top that really matches well with this and it actually might you know what i think it is a set because it has yeah it has the same it has the same brand label so i'll probably put those together as a set and it's just like this really pretty like peachy nude color all right next up is another kind of just plain little pleated midi skirt this one's more of like a camel like tan color and it feels like linen um i don't think it is it's probably like a cotton polyester blend and there is no tag in this one is this handmade maybe Oh, and it's like, this is odd. There's no like button. I feel like this is handmade and it's unfinished because there's no button. Not only is it missing the button, but there's no button hole either. So that's odd. But this one did come with a belt, which is obviously not handmade. This is a conundrum. It doesn't matter, you guys don't care. Here is the matching little belt that goes with it. I am obsessed, are you kidding me? Ugh. I love when things come with belts. Alrighty, and this is the last skirt. It is just like a navy blue, again, like kind of plain pleated midi skirt, but very good quality. It's got some really good weight to it. Here is the tag. This one looks a little bit more like late 70s, early 80s, but this is just a really good, you know, like simple, basic skirt to have. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to dresses. I've got a few dresses and then I'm saving the tops for last because they are just gold, gold. So the first dress is this one. I think this is the first dress I actually pulled out of the bag. Oh, my gosh it is like 60s goodness it's like a midi length it's got the dagger collar and then the polka dot kind of like detail and as you can see on the back it has the little like loop to loop the scarf through and good thing because it came with the matching scarf i screamed when i saw this i was like obviously the dress was amazing on its own but then i realized it had the matching scarf and i was like I, like how lucky can you get you know uh, just blessings on blessings this does have some wear on the neckline i am gonna clean this and really try and get that out but other than that she's in really great shape here is the tag round of applause again for the matching scarf Whew, I just, it just really makes me so happy. All right, so next dress we have is, oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I'm a sucker for a maxi 70s dress. I am just obsessed with this. So this is what the top looks like. It's like that peasant style sleeve, very like puffy, very like flower child vibes and it is a maxi dress we love she does have a couple stains at the bottom i may just it's like right here at the bottom and i may just cut it and hem it um to get rid of that stain instead of trying to remove it because she seems like she's been set in for a while but i just like i cannot get over 
this and the lavender color it's just like this perfect powder lavender color am i keeping her no not keeping her not keeping her i'm gonna clean her and she will go off to a new home i have to stop hoarding dresses that i don't wear <laughs> All right, so last but not least on the dresses, we have another maxi dress. Just gorgeous. Again, giving off very 60s vibes. It's got the color blocking. And then at the bottom, it's got this really cool, like, square stripe pattern. I'm obsessed. Um, this one does have quite a few stains. I feel like these are just from storage and, like, being in a closet so long. Um... It's giving very rust stain. So pray for me uh, getting that out. That's going to take a minute. But <laughs> I just have to save this dress because, oh my gosh, it is just absolutely a dream. Love, love a vintage maxi dress. Okay, so let's move on to the grand finale, which is the shirts. All of these shirts are button down style with the most crisp, pointed dagger collars and I'm just, they're a dream. I'm obsessed with these. Most of them are already listed on Poshmark and Depop. I'm listing a couple more today. I will be saving the creme de la creme for last. So stick around, stick around, buckle up. So this is the first one. I love this print. This one is really um, thin and kind of more of a sheer material. Look at that collar. Are you kidding me? Obsessed. Obsessed. Number two. This is a more like polyester. Again, kind of sheer. I love this color combination and this pattern. Normally, I wouldn't gravitate towards this pattern, but something about this color combination is just giving me life. Again, the dagger collar. This one doesn't have it. The tags have been cut out. Most of these are like a medium large. Oh, and it is polyester, but it's like that silky, like what they used to make pajamas out of. I love. This one is the only shirt that didn't have a dagger collar, but it's just this little white blouse. But what I love about it is that it's it buttons in the back. How freaking cute is that? It is just the cutest little top. And I love the tag on this one so 70s obsessed so freaking cute this would be such a good spring basic to have i love a good button detail on the back so this next piece when i pulled it out of the bag i just immediately started singing it's corn a big lump with knobs it has the juice it has the juice it's a corn shirt are you kidding me and yes it is corn it's just like uh different colored it's reimagined corn isn't that funny? I love, and it has, oh, this is a, just one of the most fabulous colors I've ever seen. I'm obsessed. This would actually pair really well with the lime green pants. I'm gonna hang, hang those up together. Let's see. This shirt with these pants. Yes. <laughs> it's corn. It's corn. I'm obsessed. Anyways, should I put these together as a set or should I just put them separately and, you know, style them as a set? In case somebody wants it as a set, should I, like, should I list them separately or put them together? Let me know down in the comments below. But this is just, this is a fit, you know? The corn kid is quaking. Okay, so these final three are my absolute favorites. I love the print on this. There is just something so magical about this print. I don't know what it is and it already like it's honestly the most popular of the ones that i've listed too it's got the most amount of likes this one's super soft it's definitely a cotton blend it's more of like a lightweight t-shirt material and again the color is just absolutely everything this one is just a quarter button i'm obsessed i just these colors are so oh i'm so ready for spring but these could also these are also really good colors to use throughout the year because this could also be very autumn leaning next is this one. Oh my gosh these colors give me absolute life they're kind of gradient they get like a little darker as they go down i just love a good orange and brown moment 
again the collar this one feels very like satiny again like they used to make those like polyester satin pajamas out of this is just such a glorious top it's in like immaculate condition i just can't get over this one i love it so so much and last but certainly not least the the peak of the mountain if you will um i am really really trying so hard not to keep this one because i know that someone out there will love it and just wear it like it's their favorite shirt it's so pretty it's so pretty this i love a good 70s yellow and i just don't know if i'm a yellow person but i want to be and this paired with like some high-waisted denim or with a skirt or just like open with like a white tank and like a pair of like some distressed high-waisted denim shorts come on i like i'm really really contemplating keeping it if someone doesn't grab it within the next week it's probably going in my closet just to be honest it's just so pretty. I'm obsessed with this print. Absolutely obsessed. And I actually have a pair of towels that we use like for beach towels or not beach towels, but like we take them to the lake or whatever. And it like, they like perfectly match this. And I feel like it's a sign. I know it's not. It's just me trying to hoard clothes, but come on. Come on, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Collar, oh, I'm done, I'm done. Alrighty, so that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite piece was. Also, let me know what vintage goodies you've been finding lately. The thrift stores have been popping off lately. If you haven't been in a while, definitely go because they are full, like so full. So now is the time to get out there and find all the goodies. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.